Hey guys, Shalane Demrest again. And what I wanted to do was actually demonstrate one of my personal favorite core moves. It's called the bird dog. This is a typical Pilates move. I'm a big fan of Pilates. It um, helps strengthen the core without actually adding any weight, or if you do add weight, not very much. So for today, the only thing I have for a weight is two and a half pound plate. If you're at home doing this, if you don't have any little dumbbells, you can actually hold maybe just a little soup can or a tuna fish can if you have that. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you two different ways. First, I'm gonna demonstrate where I want the hips to be. I want the hips to be approximately hip distance apart because sometimes I have my clients that come in too narrow. So you're right here, it keeps us nice and neutral. We walk our hands out. So now we have the hands right underneath the shoulders. All right, so this is how it looks from the front, but now I'm gonna turn long way so you can see. Hip this is distance apart again. My hands right underneath the shoulder. I'm gonna press my weight into the floor as opposed to sinking the hips, collapsing through the shoulders. I wanna press. My head is not dropped down. My, uh, my occipital bone, which is halfway through the head, is aligned with my shoulders. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take a breath, and I'm gonna inhale, and I'm gonna lift. So what I wanna do here is actually have my thumb the same height as my shoulder, and my heel the same height as my hips, without shifting my weight to the side. I hold maybe 10, 15 seconds, and then I bring it in. Again, I lengthen, I reach nice and long, pressing my weight into my hand so my shoulders stay away from my ears and my thumb, same height as my shoulder, my heel, same height as my hips, and I come down. So that's level one. But let's say now that you know, you're past that stage and you wanna add just a little bit of intensity. We add two things. One of two things, actually. We can add some degree. So I'm here again, but this time I come out to the side without shifting my hip. I keep everything isolated. I bring my hand out, 45 degree angle, as well as my hip. I come back to the center and I replace. Same thing. I come out to the side, in and down. So that's one way that we can add some intensity. Another way is either a plate or if you're at home, if you have cans of tuna or maybe a, a little soup can, something small that you can place in your hand. And I like to hold my plate this way. It makes it easier and less stress on the wrist. So again, this is one where you can just simply hold it or have it come out to the side come in, come down. What this exercise actually does, it focus you by remaining neutral, it focuses you to really draw upon your upper, your lower, for one. By pulling my belly button into my spine, now I'm activating my lumbar, my core. I'm also activating my stabilizers or my obliques because I don't wanna shift side to side. So that's how this is really strengthening a core, by adding a little bit of resistance or some difference in degrees. I'm hitting my cross muscular sling, which is basically this muscle, the rear deltoid, diagonally all the way across into my lumbar and into my, my upper glute area. So that's one of many different core exercises I'll go through um, with the videos to come. Again, Shalane Demrest, if you have any questions, or maybe suggestions on what else you'd like to see, please feel free to contact me on, one, my Facebook page. I have an athlete page, facebook.com backslash FOY 1966, or hit me up on Instagram, FOY 1966. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay fit, stay blessed, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.